Can an incorrect start date on your EINDL grant application result in a denial? That's the shocking bombshell news for LLA for Thursday, May 14th. Thanks for tuning in. As always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below. We may feature them in Friday's May 15th recording. And we're answering all 36 of your comments from Wednesday's taping. But first, this shocking development. One reader details that she has learned Courtney Paulding the ramifications of listing an incorrect start date on an EIDL grant application. She did not understand why her application and grant and loan had not been processed. So she said the following, a rep told me my loan was declined due to incorrect start date for my business. I called tier two and I had them correct my information after watching this channel. I've received my grant, but no loan and denial letter. I have decent credit and an officer will resume, review the correct info. So great news. I mean, in this last week, Adelaide has detailed the following. And when you apply for your ideal grant, if you had listed to, if you had listed under the business type, sole proprietorship, but put in an EIN and a business name and a business bank account, any of that information would be incorrect. You should have put in your personal name, your personal bank account, and your personal uh, social security number. If you chose small business, 500 employees or less, you were required to put in a business name, a business EIN, and a business banking account information. If you did any of that thing incorrect, we told you over a week ago to call SBA and correct that information right away. But we had never heard of start date as being a reason for the application to be into limbo land. Great news. So here we go. Let's get to your comments. And there's a lot of great 36 comments. Stay to the end because there's some bombshells in here as well. My stuff says good for them. Honestly, it's for the rest of us, especially we're supposed to be first come, first serve. So she's referring to what we talked about on Wednesday, and we're getting to this in a second also in today's recording, that these agricultural EIDL grant loans that came in last week have been treated with priority over some of you left in that March 30th, 31st, and April 4th vortex. Karina Grutze says, I called this morning on May 13th. It was told by a two, tier two representative that my grant is still in process, but I applied on April 4th. I questioned SBA today into why it was that agricultural is getting grants and loans first as they applied. And she says, because they're more important during these times because they're the ones that put out food on our table. I was absolutely pissed. Karina well said, as LA detailed yesterday in a bombshell, those agricultural businesses that got openings to apply for EIDL grants and loans, not this money, but the money thereafter, have been assigned their own loan department. And as a result, have received grants, loan offers, and loan money all within three days, while some of you in that March 30th, March 31st, April 4th vortex have gotten nothing. Unfair. Denise, I applied 330, okay, 330 Vortex, and received nothing. Spoke to SBT, SBA Tier 2 Monday. She said, wait for an email. Still sir, nothing. Houston, Texas. Another March 30th Vortex person. William McKenzel, uh, Mickelson, I was told to expect something in three days. Well, good news. Uh, applied 330. Bad news. Another 330 Vortex. North Dakota. Al, um, oh, here is Al Latona. Hello. Well, hello, Al. I never received my grant, but I received the email to start the loan process. When I apply back in March, I put down the wrong routing information for my bank account. What now? So great point. So what's going on is the following. If you don't know, let me recap. People are getting these. You're supposed to, within two to three weeks of receiving an EIDL grant, to receive a loan application uh, portal invite. It's an email from SBA. It says to go to a portal, established by SBA. You'll go into that portal. Once you go in that portal, there'll be a loan offer of a range of amount of money. For example, uh, it could be one to fifty thousand. It could be fifty to two hundred fifty thousand. If you accept it at that point, it will do an experience credit check. Uh, and then it will come back and say whether you have been accepted or declined. If you don't want the loan, you don't click the email. It's as simple as that. Now, here's the twist. As detailed yesterday and as detailed as well in today's videos, SBA is now confirming that they are paying or they're sending EIDL loan offers to people who have not received the grant but 
upon our urging for people to call SBA to get a clarification, where is your darn grant money? SBA is now saying, oh, the grant money will come after you get the loan. Well, thank you, SBA. Eric Bedour, thank you for all the updates and staying on top of things. Well, thank you, Eric, for tuning in. Update on my end on applying on 330, another 330 Vortex. Got a loan offer on 512, but did not get the advance grant. Except to offer on 512, still in processing status. Called yesterday, concerned that my Experian credit freeze may have been the problem. Okay, so we could have tagged this story as the credit freeze. A lot of you reported that you had credit freezes on your account, and that might be why you didn't get a grant. One of you also commented that you knew a friend that had a freeze but still got a grant. So we really don't know what's going on yet. They said they would note my file. Okay, notice last thing from last night, the bank information failed to validate, updated tier two. They peeled my file and my uh, business was approved for a $10,000 grant but was blocked. Due to the rounding number, no mention of the frozen credit. She pulled my credit again. I think that I may be bashing on net income. Additionally, since the agent was so helpful, I asked her to look up another application for my wife's business submitted April 10th. No grant, no loan. It's still so pending. Well, thank you, Eric, for all that. Stay on top of it. Gregorson Ryder says he's a farmer who applied March 20th. We applied April 4th. We received a grant April 27th, but lost my farm due to COVID. Oh, my God. And since my application, my, I'm worse off when my $10,000 grant could have saved it. Horrible. EIDL needs a new name. Air Inaccessible Disaster Loan. Horrible. Horrible news. Sorry to hear this. Conscious Home. So Conscious Home has some fascinating comment. Watch this. I watched a couple of your videos for the first time this morning. Very informative as you get such a current update. Well, thank you, Conscious. As a direct result of encouraging viewers to call SBA, I did. I had not called before and simply expected a nightmare of low scripted scripted staff telling me things are in the works, blah, blah, blah. But because of what you said on the show, within a few hours, I contacted, I got a loan specialist on the phone. Well, there you go. I don't know if they'll call the prom. I've been very impressed with my experience with SBA today and will encourage others to keep an open mind about their efforts to keep help help people. If anyone's concerned about your grant alone, just call them and thank you for your video. It has helped me. Courtney, wow. Well, thank you. Thank you. So, Paul Ryan, I asked, called SBA today. I got the same email that was forwarded to you a couple days ago. It was very frustrating because I have a small business and a nonprofit, and both have been shut down because of no money has been sent. I'm one of those ones in the 330 vortex. <sighs> that 330 vortex, which can also be called the 331 vortex or the 48 vortex. Don't know what happened that day. Awful. Raid Hyatt. Hello there. Love your channel. You're awesome. Well, thank you, Raid. Thank you for tuning in. I applied for the EIDL loan March 30th. <laughs> Here we go again. But I got my $2,000 grant on April 21st. Wow. Great news. No credit check. No credit check. No credit check in the March 30th vortex? What's going on in that vortex? I'm still waiting on that portal. Nothing yet. Too long to wait, George. If you receive your grant within two to three weeks, you should receive a portal invite from SBA. If you have not, call SBA if you want that loan. George Cordoro. So George writes an enormous message. I'm not going to read it all, but this is the bombshell. As for the grant portion, this is SBA talking to George. He said it's not uncommon to receive the loan offer after uh, to receive the loan offer, and even if the loan is first, it doesn't mean I won't qualify to receive the grant. I would end up receiving it afterwards if it ends up being the case. He asked. For, he told me to continue to monitor my checking account. So he says that SBA is now indicating to people that just because we receive a loan offer doesn't mean you're supposed to receive the grant afterwards. Great news. I mean, earlier this week, we told you that if you had received a loan offer but not received a grant, to call SBA and ask, where's your grant money? And now SBA is now responding by saying it's coming thereafter. I would ask you to do the following uh, between you and this channel is pull out your calculator and figure out whether your loan is dependent upon that grant amount. You know, the loan amount is supposed to be dependent upon the grant. It's supposed to be reduced upon the grant. Some of you have talked about that you're, you have been told your grant's coming after the loan, but haven't been getting clarity from SBA to as to how it's being reduced or not being reduced. So make sure you follow that up when talking to SBA. Ricardo, awesome video as always. Well, thank you, Ricardo. Received my grant on 454. Still waiting to hear about from SBA. However, is there any type of way donations can be made to your channel? <laughs> uh, tell people to subscribe. Gathering accurate information and sharing with all, all the time consuming.
with all of us is time consuming. It is time consuming. I really appreciate this, LA. Well, thank you. It is time consuming. Uh, Papa Kilk. After you get the email with the invite portal and accept the offer, how many days do you have to wait for an approval? Great question, Papa. Instantly, most readers have said that when you go in the portal, you click the amount, you, you, ask, you answer a few quick questions, but then you click the amount that you want. It's at that point that an Experian credit check is pulled and they're reporting instantly. Sometimes it says accept or denial. The longest we've heard on this channel has been about 24 hours later that it says accept or deny. Now, I will add the following, that some, most of you have indicated that when the loan amount is on the high end, and high, 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 it's been about more than $50,000, then it's usually prompted you to submit more documentation. Um, it's those lower amounts that it's a very quick process, and sometimes a quick process for denial as well. Helena says applied five April 5th credit check and funded April 14th still know where I'm alone it's been a month since I received the grant too long Helena call SBA Brian Davidson I called tier two rep there you go Brian I started saying that we need to verify my they started by saying they need to verify my bank account okay gave them the number said it was said it was missing oh so great news he Brian watched his channel called SBA and realized there was information missing on his account so we conference called SBA. They told me again to need to verify my bank account. So my personal banker spoke to them. A numbers told SBA they're the SBA lenders. They shouldn't be an issue. My personal banker told me if I don't get anything money, we'll call again. This is stressful. But I have thanks. Thank you, LLA. Well, thank you. Thank you. I don't know why they're treating you that way. But glad it's, good. it's working out. Amy Cirillo. My husband received his grant April 27th. He heard nothing since. Uh, it's coming up on two to three weeks soon, but pay station, stay patient. I applied for mine 4-4, no grant as of yet, about to give up hope on my husband's loan offer. Don't give up hope. Um, he may have to shut down. My business may not be too far behind. SBA needs to pick up their pace. Is there any chance they can go back and pay out the $10,000 grant that was first promised? No. Uh, what I would do is the following. Again, I mean, we started at the top of the hour, that vortex, May 4th. March 30th, March 31st, it's like a broken record. Call SBA, ask for tier two. When you call SBA, have the following information ready. Whatever information you provide on your application, whether it's your personal bank account information, your routing number, your social security number, your EIN, your business name, your business start date, your address, anything that you put submitted to them, have it in front of you ready to go so you are ready to talk fast. Know the date you submitted. Ask for tier two because it's been more than four weeks. Ask where your grant is. Ask where your loan is. If you don't like the information you're provided by the representative, call right back and start all over again. Keep on doing it till you get the answer that is sufficient and 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 answers your question keep us updated amy and don't lose hope tim in philadelphia i received my most recent benefit and 600 dollars my student waiting in seven weeks was filled up on the on may 7th uh it says it's on the website it could be up in a week to pay is that true so i guess tim is asking a pua question but yes um benefits take some time to get for pua ross i applied on 331 for 331, Vortex, for EIDL loan and got my $1,000 grant. Oh, he got his grant. My wife applied for 42 and got her deposit 428. Neither of us have received an invite for the portal. So if you haven't received an invite for the portal, call SBA. Don't sit around. Call them. Precise Digla. Precise Digla. Great screen name. I applied for April 14th. Spoke to a tier two. I applied and then on April 14th, I spoke to a tier two representative today, told me my application is waiting for a loan agent or they haven't entered it yet, question mark. He said he couldn't find it when he tried searching the application number, shakes with my business name, nothing. It just told me to keep waiting and be patient. Is this a first? It is a first, Precise. I've never heard uh, them say they can't find it. I would call back again. It's, question, it's responses like that that are disconcerting. SBA is known to have People say different things to different to, to the same person. So call back again. I don't like that answer. Lita, uh, Lita, thank you for sharing. Well, thank you for your comments this week. Jay, thanks for your help. Received a loan and one thousand dollar grant at the same time today. Wow. So Jay received his loan and his grant on the same day. Applied on March twenty eighth. Uh, original loan calculation. They offered me six thousand dollars. I slid the bar a little to the left. Watch all your vids on YouTube. LA Lake was no BS, just info. Well, thank you, Jay. I'm glad we helped you. Jay watched his channel, watched the videos, and and it came through for Jay. He got his grant and his loan. 
good for you. Stay, fo stay focused with us, Jay. Love to hear what happens next. Comment tomorrow as well. Little Bighorns Lie. Little Horns Big Lie. <laughs> we applied for four small business loans for EIDL. They were applied on the March 30th and the 1st of April. One was for agricultural. One, as we have a farm, on April 22nd, we received an advance of $1,000 of the four. We never heard about the other three. I spoke to Tier 2 to look it up. Wanted to know, wanted to let you know that. He said sometimes they can look it up by business. Hope this helps. So that's interesting. Uh, Little Bighorn says that the SBA rep says sometimes they can look it up by the business name. That's good to know. Abu Dance. So I applied on April 11th and they've not received my grant. And I have not received my grant. Call, call SBA. Too long. Too long to wait. Uh, motivation through inspiration education. I applied on uh, for EIDL on 330, got my $2,000 grant for two employees on 417, did not receive the $10,000 grant, got my stimulus check for 2400 for join on 415. Uh, don't know what else to do. Any advice would be helpful. Thank you so much for all your help. Um, so he got his stimulus check, he got his EIDL grant, he did not get the 10000 but he has not gotten his EIDL loan yet. So I'm glad you're a 330 Vortex applicant and you got your grant. Motivation, what I would do is I'll call SBA and say, where is your loan? It's been more than three weeks. That's what I would do. With PUA, watch our PUA videos. And we covered a lot of problems with uh, New York today and yesterday. Uh, Tamiri, I'm a sole proprietor. Can you use your EIDL loan to pay yourself? Our shop has been closed for over two and a half months. Yes. Um, as far as I can recall, the EID alone allows you to list yourself as one of the employees. If you are if you are one of the employees. Um, Logan, want to be friends? Yes. Harris Osborne, I applied Quick Portal for a a LLC on April 4th. Been calling a few times, asking Spear 2, Tier 2 reps very friendly. Mine apparently is still processing. Well, good news. They told her, told Harris what's going on. She said they have officially processed applications starting with numbers 330, and they have not started to process applications with numbers starting 3303. So she was implying that they were just starting to process applications starting with number 3302. I was told that 3302 and 3303 are golden and will be paid. Was told an internal email was sent from a higher up that that day was the last week. They said that 3304 or higher will likely not be funded. So be happy with my 3302 application number. Be patient. I'm not going to say that that's true. Um, it, there's no indications from SBA anywhere that if you got your EIDL loan or grant application in on time that they're running out of money. So I'm not going to validate that is true that people are not going to get funded. Uh, now, if it happens, I will update you. But as of now, I, I don't believe that to be true. Amy Perkins called SBA and got the same info when I applied on April 11th with nothing. They said there are over 4 million agricultural applicants and they're taking precedence over older applicants. Seriously? It is horrible. Absolutely my ridiculousness. I agree, Amy. What makes their business more special than others? It doesn't. And Payam Sharifi, I just posted this a minute ago on one of your videos from yesterday and posted it again. I had two applications on March 30th, no grant money. So here we go, the March 30th Vortex. I did get a loan offer for both visit businesses two nights ago, no grant. That's good news. The first lady I spoke to the day after was ridiculous. It's just that some people may qualify for the loan, but not the grant. Not true. I knew the moment she said that that she had no idea what the L she was, what the F she was talking about. <laughs> You're right. She did not know what she was talking about. I called again today and no help at all. Now I've watched a couple of your videos. I'm going to ream their tomorrow. I'll make sure everyone at the SBA who have heard about my calls. Good point. So you are right, um, Payam Sharifi. You are right. As many of you in the 386 comments from Wednesday's recording have indicated, EIDL loans have been sent and EIDL grants have been coming after loans. Now, the question we really don't know, and if you watch the end of this video, please comment your answer below. If you received your EIDL loan before your EIDL grant, did you get that EIDL grant because you called SBA by watching this channel? 
or was it just arriving on its own accord? Because most of your comments seem to indicate that you had called SBA watching this video, asking for where your grant money is when you received your loan. And at that time, SBA said, oh, we're going to pay your grant as well. So comment below why you think the grant money came after the loan. Was it because you got SBA on the phone or was it already coming? We'd love to know the answers. And we'll feature them in tomorrow's Friday recording. As always, stay with Ally for more. Thank you.